So they do have a little stripe like on the picture on the bag, but it's not the same color. I'm a little disappointed. I really thought they were gonna be like this vibrant orange and we get this little It smells it definitely smells like a cheese puff though. It smells a lot like cheese. Why did it sweet? Yeah. The little stripe of like whatever that is is really sweet. It doesn't taste like cheese. My hopes have been shattered. I was expecting it to be cheesy. I thought it was gonna be cheese and it tastes like honey. I feel like if you left these just on the table, I'd be in one. Just because they're really soft. Um, I'm disappointed. I'm like four down. I just thought. <laughs> I give it a three. I give it a five. I wouldn't personally buy it, but if someone offered them to me, I'd probably eat them all. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try the shrimp crackers. I'm pretty sure I've already had these sometime in my life here in the US because um, I feel like I've seen the packaging before. But um, this one says it's spicy. I think I've only ever had the regular shrimp flavored one. So they're the Seo Gang Meng crackers. I have a feeling they might taste like the cuttlefish ones, but maybe spicy. Tastes like another fish <laughs> It smells like fish bracket. Like, if you go to Seoul... It smells like... A little bit, yeah. If you ever go to Seoul and you go to a fish market, this is what that smells like. It's not bad, but it's a little sweeter than I expected. Yeah. Happened to be spicy. It's like, this is it's spicy, but it's not. It even says... It's even in Spanish. It says sabor picante. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> But I'm not surprised because a lot of things in Korea that say they're spicy, they're actually kind of like sweet, which is kind of weird to me. But just keep eating them. They're actually really good. They're good. I give these an 8. I give them an 8. I don't know. I'm more of a salty person when it comes to chips as opposed to sweet. Everyone saw that. Okay, now let's try the Gogalkun. Gogalkun. They're the honey butter flavor, which. If you guys have been keeping up with Korean trends, you know these were really popular like a few months ago. Yeah, the honey butter craze is real in um, Korea. Let's try it. I mean, uh, what are those ones called? The more triangle ones? I know that there's some in the US. Isn't it like uh, a form of Dorito? Oh, they're from Doritos. Are they called bugles? Yeah, bugles? I think so. Bugles. Yeah, the shape of the chip is like bugles. It's like a color. Yeah, it's a color. My hands feel sticky. Next time we shall get scissors. <laughs> Usually they come in these little plastic bags, bags, <laughs> cups, 
fun. But um, this one came in little boxes, so I'm excited to see if it tastes the same or if it's different because it seems to be the same brand, but who knows. So, let's see, let's see if we can open it. Since I want to open it this time. <laughs> I've been wanting one since I bought them. And it's got the little straw. Kindergarten. I actually can't smell this, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. It's actually not that bad, and I don't like banana. But it actually tastes pretty good. I give it an 8, actually. I know she'll give it like beyond a 10 out of 10. Hi. <laughs> I give it a 10 out of 10, because 10 out of 10 would recommend. Uh, I, I missed the little bottle though. I prefer the little bottle. It's a lot more exciting for me. <laughs> I thought this was a lot more exciting because you didn't even know it's inside. <laughs> but yeah, it tastes just like it. There's uh, melon flavor and strawberry flavor, so maybe we can do that next time. Did you spill? No. Oh. <laughs> um, I'm happy. Yeah, she she'll probably buy another pack when we go back. Uh, which might be soon because I'm finally employed. If you've seen my other video, you knew you would know I wasn't. <laughs> you would know she wasn't, but now she is. Now we're ready for this one. Woo! I'm sure you're ready for it. Maybe you should have this before some people drunk all you. I haven't had this since 2014. Um, I'm excited. I've been wanting to try this. Yeah. And um, so it doesn't work. Well. So good alcohol. So true. I remember while I was in Korea, um, I used to have one of these as a pregame to my pregame. Yeah, I could have a whole bottle of soju by myself. Brought to you by. I remember I had about 14 shots. <laughs> Like one right after the other, and the span of like maybe an hour, an hour and a half. Which was a little insane now that I think about it. <laughs> Anyways, so I remembered I bought a little case of um, cups. They're actually wine cups, but I thought why not use them today. I bought these while I was in Korea. I guess they're for a specific type of Korean wine, but um, I brought them and I was like, I mean, I can use this for whatever I want, right? So, do this every time before you open it and get the little tornado going but I always kind of sucked at it so <laughs> come on there we go because sometimes when you don't shake it it kind of tastes kind of weird kind of funky so, so do we just like chug it um yes yeah, so it's okay take it so, um, cheers guys there you go whoa I know, I like this brand because it's pretty smooth when you drink it. Um, there's other ones that are a lot more harsher. Um, yeah. It's actually like not... If you're a good drinker, like if you're over age, over the limit, if you're an adult and you like drink pure body and you how it burns, this is not that. At all. This one's really soft. Yeah. Um, <coughs> I hadn't had that since 2014, I think. So, yeah, I kind of had already forgotten what it tasted like, actually. So, uh, what would you give that out of 10? I don't know what it's 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? 10 out of 10. It's really smooth, it really is. It's uh, good alcohol. It's good. I built a really high tolerance while I was in Korea, but I haven't been drinking at all since I've been back. So, if I have another two shots, I'd probably start feeling really tipsy, which is kind of sad. But See, maybe for the, the part two, we can, we can drink some of this. For part two, we're going to drink before we eat. This will, that will make it even more interesting. Yeah. So, this is good. So, which one was your favorite? Like, like everything. Snack? Snack, yeah. That one. I think my favorite. Yeah, probably that one too. It's really good. Yeah. And I don't like squid or octopus or whatever, but it's really good. 
Yeah, because I like the sweet potatoes. Because I like sweet potato, but um, it tastes weird. It's a little too sweet for me, but I do like it. So, yeah. So, like, if it had to be like these, those were probably my top two. Yeah. Although I probably prefer this one more than Yeah. Them. And we bought a lot of things that day, but we're gonna have part two because there's a lot of things we didn't get, like the choco pie. Which I thought about earlier today. And Did you really? Yeah. <laughs> we were gonna buy some noodles too that she wanted me yeah. to try. Yeah. I was gonna. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. No, I was gonna get her to try the puntak bokumyum uh, ramen, the really spicy chicken noodles. So just to see how she handles it. I don't know if it handles spicy. Well. I do actually. Okay. I so don't. I was excited for that, but we never found the single yeah. containers. Yeah. I were all in packages. Mm -hmm. I don't handle spice very well, but I do like spicy food, so. Usually I'll have like a really runny nose, but I'll still be eating it. So even if it's not spicy, it's just like the steam. Like we ate um, oh, over there, and it was not spicy whatsoever. And we were eating, and our noses were just like so stuffy. We're like, <sighs> yeah. So I get a really runny nose yeah. just with like anything that's hot, like temperature wise and spice wise. I do too. So not necessarily. So spicy. you might see a lot of boogers when we do that video. <laughs> just saying. But yeah, so that was pretty much it for this video. Hopefully I'll see you soon in the next one. Um, new snacks and stuff. Um, I might go check out the little Asian store downtown because I know there's an Asian store downtown and see if they have anything different. Um, if not, then until next time when I go to LA. Um, thanks for watching. If you want to get any of these snacks and you live in California, go to Koreatown LA and Koreatown San Jose or Santa Clara. They have a lot of snacks too. Um, until next time, this is it. Thank you for watching. Bye. I can't reach the camera. I can't do the. <laughs> <laughs> la, 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 la.